I am back here in No Man's Sky. The computer is yelling at me about toxic damage. You know, I don't really know how to save my game in uh, No Man's Sky. The only way I know how to do it is to go into my ship, enter my ship, and exit my ship, and then it says it saved, it saved the game. So that's why I always start at my ship. Okay, so last time we built uh, we built this little shack here. We built um, the teleport thingy. We built some power generator thing there, uh, which of course doesn't operate unless we put fuel in it, and it only runs for like 30 seconds before it runs out. But now it's saying we have a new uh, a new thing here at our base computer. So let's see what it's talking about. Accessing log from previous user. So we're just following the instructions of some previous user, which I bet we're going to find out was me in the past. Like I did all this stuff and then I lost my memory or something. That's probably what it's going to turn out to be. Scanner detected unusual broadcast. Repeating 16 from the space station. <gasps> the space station! Are we going to the space station? Warning. End of archive. Records interrupted. Uh oh The base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Uh oh, my cat seems to be walking around, lurking around my feet. Hold on a moment. Okay, the cat has been let outside. Now... Investigate the space station, following the footsteps of the base computer's previous owner. And how do we do that? I need fuel for my ship, for one thing. Um... What is that? Space station. Off planet. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can remember how to do fuel. Let's do tab, starship, thruster, requires, user is advised that specialized deuterium derived fuel is required to recharge the thruster. Launch procedures require sufficient fuel levels before activation. Um... Okay, how do we, uh, how do we make that? Stabilized dihydrogen fuel, starship launch fuel, and your uranium? Is it and uranium or is it or uranium? I feel like that would be an or. So I'm guessing we need to take dihydrogen Put it in the, the gizmo to refine it, and that'll make spaceship fuel. That is my best guess. So this base that we made here, I'm thinking that was just for tutorial purposes, and we're not actually meant to stay here. Because this is a terrible base, and this is a terrible planet. I don't want to live on this planet. This planet is the worst. Getting some dihydrogen. I'm getting out of here. Getting the heck out of Dodge. Getting away from these security bots that are flying around all over the place. Do I have enough? Toxic 
All right, let's put it in the refiner. Let's put guy hydrogen in there. Put some car. Oh, I don't have any carbon. No. Okay, I gotta get carbon. Bloody hell! I never have enough carbon. Okay, let's let's uh, recharge our protection for a second. That's good. I feel like maybe I should uh, dig up some of these old things as well. But if I ever come back here, I I will have access to the digging capability, so I won't. I don't have to like dig stuff up and take it with me. I can always come back. Not that I ever want to come back here. That's my dog. Journey Milestone Wayfarer traveled 20,000 Ks. Oh, this one is a new plant. Let's analyze it. Analyzing stuff is kind of fun, but I don't really know what the, the gameplay purpose of it is. I don't really know why it's advantageous, except it sort of identifies what uh, what components I get from the stuff. Oh, this is one that's unidentified as well. I thought I'd identified these purple zucchini plants. Zucchini trees. Mining laser is about to die. Let's do one more. Can we get one more? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Get back under cover quick. Let's get some carbon too while we're here. Whoops, it's depleted. Uh, okay, how do we recharge the stuff? Multi-tool. How do we fix this thing? Carbon. Boom. Okay, let's get some more ferrite dust. Oh, it didn't go back to 100%. It just went back to like 20-some percent. Getting some ferrite dust while I'm out here. Ferrite dust is used for everything. Oh, run for the safety of the indoors. Somehow, this, these wooden walls protect me from toxic damage. Wooden walls with a wide open doorway somehow protects me from poisonous atmosphere and radiation at the same time. These are pretty amazing wooden walls. Okay. All right, now let's refine some fuel. Put some carbon in here. Dihydrogen jelly? Is that... Is that what I need to make the fuel? I don't... I don't remember. Did I make fuel before? I don't remember even making the fuel before. Process to zero of three. Am I doing this right? I feel like I'm not doing this right. Can I, can I? Is time stopped while I'm in the middle in this screen or am I just standing here getting exposed to radiation? So I'm currently losing protection, but if I go into this screen, am I still getting toxified? Or 
I don't know. It kind of looks like it's freezing time when I'm inside this <laughs> inside this menu. That's kind of weird. I'm going to wait for the green bar to get down to where the, the white bar is, and then I'll go into the screen and see if the green bar continues to go down afterward. Okay, let's go into the screen for a while. Let's see how this works. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm... Uh, I don't... I don't think I'm doing this right. I don't remember making jet fuel before. I feel like maybe it was already in the ship, or I just picked it up off the ground or something. I don't... I don't know what I did before. That was like yesterday when I did that. I don't remember. Okay, I've been in this menu for a long time. I'm gonna exit and see what the, uh, how the two bars compare. The green bar should be significantly less than the white bar now. <laughs> it's not! Wow, it actually freezes time inside this menu. That's pretty cool. I guess if you're, uh... If you're about to die from toxicity, you can just go into one of those menus and you'll be... You'll be put into stasis and protected. And that's a little bit of a game flaw. A little bit of a flaw. That's eh, no big deal. Kind of nice, actually. Okay, while I'm in here, while I'm waiting for this thing, let me see if I can go into the guide. Okay, there's no search feature. That's a bummer. Uh, flying the starship. All right, I'm looking for how do we uh, how do we get fuel into the starship? Upgrades and crafting, refining substances. It's not really telling me a whole lot. Upgrading your equipment, construction. Okay, it's not really telling me very much. Okay, never mind. Um, catalog. Okay, what about, like, space fuel? I'm looking for fuel. Warp cell, no. Raw materials, where's, like, uh... Fuel. Ship fuel is what I'm looking for. I don't see anything. Life support gel. Starship fuel, here we are. Required parts, dihydrogen and metal plating. Highly reactive solid fuel required. I think I'm doing this wrong. I think I'm definitely doing this wrong. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm wasting my dihydrogen here. I'm making jelly for no reason. I just need to make it... I don't need to refine it at all. I just, uh, I just like mush together some dihydrogen and some metal plating, and then I have starship fuel, somehow. Alright, stop. Stop this madness. Stop. Portable life support power is what I've just made. I didn't really want that, but whatever. Okay, so let's see if we can make some metal plating here. Let's make a metal plate. And uh, how much dihydrogen do I have? Do I have enough to make? Uh, Starship launch fuel. I do. That was easy. Now I just put it in the Starship, right? Oh yeah. Okay, I am leaving my base. I just wasted a bunch of time trying to refine 
dihydrogen jelly for no reason. Let's get in the ship and take off. How do we take off? I think it was hold down W. Yes. I hope I'm gonna go up. Yes. Whoa. Yikes. Wow, what a lovely, lo lovely scenery here. Space station. Can I just hold down space bar to get there? Apparently so. Whoa, totally lagged out there. Wow, the space station is a long way away. Can I scan this unknown planet while I'm working? While I'm moving? Oh, there's a paradise planet. I scanned a paradise planet. Aggressive sentinels, star bulb, copper, paraffinium, and salt. Our hunt. Omega is the name of this paradise planet. That sounds like a much better planet to land on, I think. Whoa. Space station ahead. Um, how do I land? I feel like that's not a good place to land. I'm just gonna smash into a bunch of mirrors. Is there like an automatic way to land? I feel like I need to go to the other side. I like how my ship sounds like the Jetsons. Am I on the other side yet? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. How do we land on a ship? I don't know. Ah, this looks like a landing area. Do I have to land manually? Fugitive Starship Detective. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I am not hunting down a fugitive starship. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's... I'm landing automatically. Excellent. Explore the space station. Find life forms to ask about the mysterious signal. Welcome aboard Rutasa Cow 18 Rendezvous. Okay. Do I just get out? Can I just walk around here? I'm on a space station. Where do I go? Hello? Anybody? Oh, I see stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Ooh, it's a spaceport. Hello. I've wandered into Mass Effect. <laughs> it looks just like Mass Effect uh, 2 or 3, one of those two. Hello there, technology merchant Opnaf. I can't understand anything you're saying. The life form waits behind the terminal. They look up, at, up and down and seem to decide I am not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. I'm going to ask about other travelers. The life form looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Uh, he doesn't like me. Are there any humans here? Exosuit upgrade. I'm gonna assume all of these uh, sort of odd life forms are gonna... 
are not going to be very helpful to me. What is that? Your base. My base is way on a different planet. I think I went to the wrong side. Let's look at the other side. Maybe there are friendlier aliens on the other side. This is pretty cool, actually. I'm... <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh, these look like the same aliens. Hello there, are you the concierge's attendant eagle? I still can't understand you. The alien looks at me expectantly. They are clearing, clearly waiting for something. Perhaps they know the one who came before me? Startled by my question, the life form emits a dramatic squeak. Though I do not recognize their words, the shake of their head is unmistakable. Huh. Assistant Prospector. Sales Gek. Hmm. Toil Gek. Are you guys Geks? Sales Gek? Merchant. Hello. I still can't understand you. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Huh? Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. No, I don't want to go back to my terrible, toxic planet. Every system has a space station serving as its hub. Speaking to lifeforms aboard the station brings the chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. Visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. Visit the cartographer for directions. Take missions from the mission agent. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Uh, well, if I had power, I could, I guess, but I don't have any power. Toxic Output. Oh, I named it Toxic Output. I was I was trying to name it Toxic Outpost. This is not going to work because there's no uh, there's no power, right? Why is this working when there's no power? Wait a second. Did I just leave my ship on the space station? I hope my ship comes with me. This could be bad. I feel like I've made a tremendous mistake here. This is not what I would call instantaneous teleportation. It's more like a cosmic subway tunnel. Hey, I'm back. Back on my poisonous new dress. And... Wow. I came through my teleporter without any power, and my ship came with me as well. That's good. Good to know. Okay. That was weird. So, I don't actually need to have power to my teleporter for it to work. That's weird. I need to, uh, I need to rename my base, I think. Select new task. Begin decryption. Let's do that. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Message follows. 
The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. I just did that. Signal acquired. Life signs detected. Reach the decoded coordinates. Possible distress signal. How far away is that? It's off planet, it looks like. Okay, let's rename our base here. Get the, the right name. Toxic Headquarters. That's my new name for this place. Um, so can I launch? Do I have enough fuel to launch? I'm guessing probably not. Oh, maybe I do. I'm holding down the wrong key. <laughs> I was holding down Q. I'm in the air! Whoa! Yeah, Jesus, I cannot fly to save my life here. Possible distress signal. Oh, this is just just a little ways down. Just a tiny bit across the planet surface. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Whoa! Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, how do we land? I forgot how to land. I don't remember how to land. I don't know what I'm doing. How do you land? I forgot. How do you land? I don't know. I thought you just... Is it E? It's E, isn't it? Initiate landing sequence. Holy crap, what am I doing? I'm crashing into this thing. Ah, sorry, I'm crashing into your building. Sorry. There's a whole settlement over here. And I gotta make some more fuel, too. The Ebiets platform, region of planet New Drust. Okay, I gotta climb all the way up there again. It's still toxic over here, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, I need some sodium before I do anything. Okay, well, I'll just hang out here for a little bit and, uh, gather your sodium. I need all your sodium, please. Like a big communications tower here or something. Wait, can I, uh... Can I hang out underneath this roof here and protect myself for a moment? The Envermar Reflector Gek Observatory. Oh. Interesting. The Gek live here, it seems. I will learn more of that when I gather. When I gather all the sodium I can find. Oh, there's something over there. It's a trading post. This is the Envermar Reflector. Oh, security bot. Where was that other uh, sodium? There was another one over here. I overshot my landing destination by about a mile, I think. Dawn has arrived. All right, how do I get up on this thing? Can I use my jetpack to get up there? There's a giant hole in the ground. I don't know why I'm 
I'm getting carbon. Just in case I need carbon. Alright, looks like we have a pathway up here. Hello. Hello, everyone. I was just on a space station and they told me to come over here. I think. Wait, let me replenish my protection here. And my life support. Hello, what is this beacon? The SV Glory of Embero, MS Wings of the Anomaly. Log damaged, partial records available. It's a shipwreck. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find a pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Why did I say debris? Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Ooh, I'll take that. I pulled a blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Was it me? Did I do that? Before I lost my memory or something? Light speed warp drive, FT FTL propulsion drive that allows starship to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. The grammar and writing in this game is a little bit suspect. User ad is advised to access hyperdrive systems through galactic map. I need chromatic metal and a microprocessor. Five microprocessors and 125 chromatic metals, which I think I got from the refiner. Begin hyperdrive installation. Purchase microprocessors and acquire refine chromatic metal. How do I Purchase microprocessors. Toxic protection falling. Okay, I'm a little uh, confused here. Do I need to go back to the space station? Holy crap! I just ran off a cliff. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. So I think I saw there was like a trading post over there. All right, I need some dihydrogen here to make metal plates or whatever. To make my sh ship fuel. Let's get in my ship for a second. Get my uh, spacesuit repaired. Um, can I make stuff while I'm in here? I do need to make metal plating. And yes, let's make some starship fuel. Alright, our ship is refueled. We're ready to take off if we need to. Um, what's the other thing we needed to make? Uh, I forget what else we need to make. How did we... We had to buy microprocessors, and then we had to... I don't remember. Let's get out. It'll tell us, I assume. Access the ship inventory. Toxic protection. Falling. 
chromatic metal and microprocessors. So we make the chromatic metal. How do we make the chromatic metal? I forgot. There's a ship flying overhead. Um, chromatic metal comes from copper, doesn't it? Comes from copper. So we need to find a copper deposit. Can we get under cover so we don't take damage here? Toxic protection. Stabilizing. There's salt. Salt. Copper. 640. Jeez. Alright, let's tag it just for now. Salt, ammonia, copper, 839, jeez. Ammonia, buried technology, maybe later. Ammonia, salt, cargo drop. Unknown building. Fungal cluster, knowledge stone, I haven't looked at that. Sentient plant. Heptiploid wheat. Copper deposit. Oh, there's the one I want. That one's only 95 units away. And sentinel. Okay. Okay, here we go. Heading for some copper. If I remember correctly, we needed like 50. I thought there was like a visible thing that we could see to get the copper. I'm just getting the silicate powder here. Where's the copper? Where's the copper, see? I thought it was right here. Where's my, uh... There it is. I'm just getting silicate powder. Where's the copper? I need copper! I need the copper! I'm just getting a... I'm just making a huge hole in the ground. There's nothing here. Okay, seriously though, where's the copper? Toxic protection falling. I mean, it says it should be right there. <laughs> but it's not there. There's no copper. Missing something? Do I have to dig down like a mile or something? There's nothing but silicate powder here. Okay, well, let's run for cover again. I have clearly not gotten this figured out. I don't understand why I don't see any copper. I just made a huge hole in the ground. There's no copper. This game is lying to me.
Is it... is it not supposed to be precise? Is it just somewhere in this general area? Hey, have you guys seen any copper around here? You alien animals, have you seen any copper? Because I don't see any copper. There was like a bulge on the ground. The first time I mined... Whoa, stay away from that plant. Okay, well, I'll just continue destroying your habitat, I guess. Copper deposit. It says it's over here. Okay, seriously, there's no copper deposit here. This is this game is lying to me. Unless it's like way down below. Is that possible? Can I just oh I can just hold it down. Okay. I'll just <laughs> just destroy all of this. These poor animals' habitat. I'm just killing it all. Have I gotten any copper yet? I don't think I have. I've just gotten silicate powder. What is that good for? Building, crafting, upgrading. No copper. I've got pure ferrite. Am I trapped down here forever? I seem to be stuck here, actually. I'm gonna sneeze. Toxic protection falling. Ugh. Alright, I need to fix my suit here. Technology recharge. There's like nothing resembling copper here. Weapon charge depleted. Okay, how do we fix that? Multi-tool. Ferrite dust? Technology recharge. I don't get it. I think this thing lied. It lied to me. There is no copper here. I just destroyed these poor animals' habitat and there's no copper. I just I just strip mine these poor people's area and there's nothing. It says it's right there. It says it's right there, but it ain't there. There's nothing but silicate powder here. Alright, that's enough. I can't... I can't destroy their habitat anymore. So I guess we're going to go to uh, plan B. Um, plan B, which is trying to go to someplace else and mine some copper, I guess, because there were some other copper deposits I saw. Um, but I think I'm going to stop here, and, uh, I will resume some other time trying to find copper and trying to buy, uh, components or computer parts or something like that. See you later.